Cross front and center we were always comfortable, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just speaking to the day, man, being out with there, Marcus and uh, his plan to go through all those kind of scripted plays and that you guys have worked with a few times at Phoenix. Yeah, um, you know, it's, this wasn't the first time I got to go under center with Marcus. We've been you know, working on it since uh, since the National Championship game. Uh, we we're, were, you know, blessed to be able to train down in San Diego together. And so, you know, we're very familiar with uh, snapping under center. About being good buddies and going through this process the last two months. And yeah, months it's together. honestly, it's unbelievable because I was, you know, even with uh, it was me, Marcus, and uh, Jake Fisher. We're all rooming together, living together down in you know, San Diego, and it was just you know unbelievable experience going through it all, going through the combine together, and um, it was just unbelievable. And you know, having like learning from a guy like Marcus, you know, anybody can learn from him. It doesn't matter what profession you're in. Uh, I'll always learn a thing or two from Marcus. Was it easy to get used to having him under center? Yeah, we. Pra I mean, in practice, it's all four or five years, I've you know five years I've been here, um, we always start out practice, um, you know, snapping under center, and then we go into snapping in the shotgun. So we always had it, you know, under our belt, but we never did it, uh, you know, full speed and that many times, but that's something that, you know, it's um, just doing that is not hard to learn, but now it's, you know, having a guy in front of you and having to, to be able to, if you're taking a pass set, making, you know, knowing where your quarterback's feet, feet are, because you don't want to, you know, step on, you know, his foot or anything, so. Um, something you got to get used to, and I think I've done you know, pretty well since the last game. Talk about your day. How unusual it is for us to see something like that. What's that? Sorry. Can you I was imagine <laughs> how unusual that is for us to see? And yeah, I can see. only imagine because you know no one's ever seen me and Marcus under center. Um, but if you guys try to think back, when I when we come out for centers and quarterbacks to change during the games, um, that's the first thing we do when I get out on the field. Uh, we do under center snaps, and then we work into our into our shotgun snaps. So. Um, if you guys look back, you guys probably see us working on it before. How do you feel like your day went Tony Washington is down here um, at the other end for those who I thought I did, you know, I felt like I did really good. Um, you know, I just went out there and just did my thing. You know, I wasn't worried. wasn't once thinking about my ankle. Um, you know, pre-combine, uh, you know, I wasn't ready to go out to combine, but I did everything I can. I was very, you know, fortunate and blessed to, you know, come back here and work with the uh, – training staff here and you know I got to give them all the credit uh, for me being able to come out here and run because without the you know training staff at Oregon um, you know I wouldn't be out here to be able to perform like that. If you had to give yourself a grade for today you think you did very well is that A, B, something like that? Uh, that's not, I'm not in a position to give myself a grade I just you know I've never been the type of guy to you know self promote myself you know I just go out there and you know whatever people see what I do on the field that's that's what I do I, but I thought I did a good job. How kind of feedback are you getting? What kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, I've been, you know, a lot of people want to see how I can move. Uh, I'm making a, a, a plant and cut on my ankle and being able to run out of it. You know, so far we got some really good, you know, feedback about being able to move. And you know, that's a lot of questions that teams had that if I could still, um, you know, how healthy I got and be able to move around. And I think, you know, the, the Rose Bowl game um, and the National Championship game proved that, you know, after the surgery that I had, I was able to you know, come back and, you know, play at a high level. What other questions do they have for you besides your ankle and your ability to move on that? Um, just being able to be powerful, being able to be powerful, and you know, I, I think you know that's that's a no-brainer for me. You know, I, I know I can be powerful, and you know, whatever team, all it takes is one team to like you, and um, you know, so I'm gonna do everything I can now till the draft to, um, you know, keep this up and you know, you know, not let it stop or you know, just, just keep continuing on grinding. What specific things are you gonna be working on after going through what you did today? Anything you're looking at improving over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, continue rehabbing my ankle. It's you know. Not quite 100 percent. It's close, but it's not there yet. And just continue getting that better. And then, you know, those things sharp on the board work. You know, as a center, you got to be like the quarterback of the offensive line. So you got to make sure you're always sharp. Don't ever, you know, stop and not do any board work or watch film. You know, always got to make sure you get like an hour of film in a day. You know, some board work. Um, you know, that's what was so great about living with Marcus. That with with me, him, and Jake Fisher, we would just go. You know, and every night just we had a whiteboard and just go over board work to you know, stay sharp on that. What's the process going to be like trying to get that in here? Just keep on going in and, you know, trusting, you know, the athletic staff that we have here. Just, you know, keep on strengthening it, keep on doing rehab. And, um, you know, it's very close, 100%. I'm very close to being back. And I felt really good today. Uh, to be honest, I felt a lot better than I thought I was going to be. <laughs> but uh, it's just it's just a process. It's a, it, injuries happen, and every team knows the offensive linemen. Um, you know, I played quite a few games here, and, you know, I was blessed to be able to, you know, just come out, you know, I'm still healthy. and. Um, in, a very, in a very good position right now.
I guess I'll... Between now and the draft, and where will you watch the draft? Um, so I'm going to be based out of here in Eugene, and then, you know, every week or so, just teams are going to fly you out for a visit, and then teams will do come private workouts. I think my first private workout begins on Monday, so I got a, it's a quick turnaround for me. I got to be able to ready to go on Monday. Um, it's just, you know, staying, staying ready. And for the draft, I, I'm going to be at home with my family, of course. You still living out of the same hotel you were living out of? Yeah, I'm back hotel? in that hotel. It's a great hotel. You guys want to come by pre continental breakfast on me. <laughs> Is there ever any of these drills that you do where you wonder, no, I, I hope I never have to do this? Or what no, I, I love this. I love this. I love getting, you know, getting, um, you know, tested like that. I love, you know, putting, you know, all that stress. And it's just fun for me. Being out there is fun, you know. Being able to go through drills like that with, you know, with Jake Fisher, Hamani, one more time is, you know, you know, we've, we've been blessed and lucky enough to be able to play together for that long. And, you know, going under center with Marcus is just, you know, we just got to enjoy and enjoy this process together. It's, of course, a big day for you, but is there a bit of sentimentality knowing that it is kind of the last time that you guys as a class are going to be working together? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, but it's just part of life. It's part of the process. It's part of you know, the business that we're going into. It just happens. And, hey, you never know. I might, might end up back together one more time. You never know. It's crazy everything that's going on with the NFL. You got to work out a little bit with Nick Hardwick, right? Don't yeah, I've been saying Diego working with Nick Hardwick. He's unbelievable. Well, um, what have you gleaned from he, him? He, he, <laughs> mentally, you know, and how he watches film, how he prepares himself for a game mentally. Yeah, physically he has all the tools, but I really want to know how he goes into a game week, not just, you know, right before the game, how he gets ready, but what does he do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to get ready for, you know, the game on Sunday. And then we've been, we're lucky to have uh, Philip Rivers come down as well. You know, put us through some pass protection, you know, film work. And but Nick, he's one of the smartest guys I've ever got to be around. And you know, he's he's I was very lucky, and he taught me you know some stuff about being under center, you know, some tricks of you know a way to you know be able to move really well out of that position. And um, you know, I, I got to give him a lot of credit as well. Do teams ask you about Marcus a lot? Um, who doesn't ask me about Marcus? <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, see if he's the real deal. What is yeah. yeah, I mean, it's Marcus. Everybody, I think, no matter where I go, I'm the one for some reason. I always get asked about Marcus. Yeah. I always give Marcus a hard time because I tell him I can't take you anywhere because he's always, you know, making me answer questions. But no, I'm always giving him a hard time. But he's just an unbelievable person. And yeah, teams ask me and they ask me. Um, the question that they ask me is, is, how do you guys communicate, you know, during pass if you want to change the protection, you know, during the heat of the moment of the game. And you know the question the answer is he's got full control. If I make the call, the protection, and Marcus sees a different blitz coming, it's hit all his in, in his control to change the whole protection and you know turn it to the other side. And that's why I told teams he has that responsibility, and you know he does a really good job. There's kind of a I mean I'm biased, but a concern about can Marcus he operate out of the spread so often? Can he adjust oh. to the first down? <laughs> yeah. Do you sense something like that for yourself though? Because you hike so much out of the spread. It's not a problem. It's. It's like, who said it? Who told me that? It's Coach Frost. It was like Dwayne Wade going to play the triangle offense. You know, it's, it's not, you know, it's not a problem at all. You know, I didn't want I could go into any type of system I'm told to get into and I'll be able to play. If I'm, you know, I've been playing center for, starting center for four years here. Day one, I get told to go play at guard, I'll play at guard. It's, you know, it's, it's football. And you know, at the end of the day, you get a guy in front of you and you've got to just move that guy from playing to point B against his will. And that's you know, just football. You would have liked when we play in the Lakers triangle offense a little bit. I like Kobe. <laughs>